Hi, and welcome to the Global Markets Advisor today. Today's topic is, is your business ready for international expansion? You know, establishing your business overseas can be both very risky, but also very re rewarding. To determine whether your business is ready for international expansion, I'm going to ask that you work through a series of very simple questions. The first is, why expand in the first place? What will international expansion achieve for your business? Will it bring hard benefits, like increased profit, or turnover, perhaps more customers, greater scale, and much greater diversification? Or is your desire to expand driven by software benefits, such as more excitement, the travel, and the challenges? That's been one of my perks over all the years of my international business. So I definitely identify with this perk. Why expand? Believe me, I find it easy for entrepreneurs to get caught up in the excitement of traveling overseas, seeing new cultures, but sometimes my job is to stop them from jumping on a plane and heading off into the wide blue yonder without doing the appropriate research at home first. Second question, where to? Identifying which market to expand to, into is often the hardest decision that you'll have to make. Why, with so many countries desperate to get a hold of your unique product, your unique service, or capability, where on earth do you go first? Do you start with the established markets like the US, the UK, and Europe, and Japan? Or do you prioritize emerging markets, high growth markets, with large populations such as China, India, the largest of the world's big, rapidly industrializing countries known as the BRICS? Choosing one country over another requires a dispassionate, objective, and sound approach. Be sure to allow sufficient time to do your research properly and to devote adequate attention to any legal regulatory issues that may affect your ability to do business in that market. The third question, what are you selling? You must understand all of the following before going any further. What product, capability, or service are you going to export? How will it need to be adapted for your new market? How can you build a value proposition in a new market? How scalable is this? And will you be a niche player, or do you need volume in order to be profitable? The next question is, how will it work? What do you need to know about the markets that you'll be working in? What are the factors that will lead to success or to failure? How committed are you to success in your new market? And are there any cross-cultural considerations that could impact on your business? What else will you need to learn to be successful? The next question is, who do you need to involve? What extra support, resources, and financial backing will you need to ensure your offshore expansion is successful? Who can you go to for capital if you need it, at home and abroad? Will you need a local distributor or agent, and how will you select them? Whose role will it be to develop your offshore business? If it's yourself or one of your top people, how is that going to affect your domestic business? And the final question is this, when will you be ready? How and when will you launch offshore? Will you do one major launch or a series of soft launches? How will you ensure you're fully prepared for international expansion? And what happens if you achieve more than you, can, more than you expect? Can your business cope with that level of demand? As you can see, there are many issues, challenges, and points to be addressed. And all of them take time to research and to review and assess properly. Like all things in business, having a plan before you get started is a great idea. So my question to you is this, how are, your plannings, how are your plans coming along for world domination? You know, I think in this period of uh, world economic uncertainty, as we can call it, it is more important than ever that businesses, whatever their country of origin, raise their game to stay ahead of the competition that's increasingly coming from the new markets themselves. But then you must increase your bottom line and guarantee your future if you want to be in business in 20 years or even in 10 years. Globalizing your business, your talents, your products, or your services could be the answer that you're looking for. I believe you need to harness Global Markets Advisors' global expertise. We can help you. We're here to help the small business, the medium-sized business, the innovator, the entrepreneur, reach their potential to help you spot and make the most of the opportunities that high-growth markets present for your company. We can offer you strategic and impartial advice, guidance on your business plans, market and country research, and introductions to key contacts. We help you to overcome the barriers to new overseas business and enable you to improve your business performance. Is there something that you do or that you sell 
that would be that would be appealing to these high growth markets? If so, why not be in touch today? There is good economic evidence that states that firms secure most value if they enter high growth markets at an early stage. Don't let the grass grow under your feet any longer. Start by familiarizing yourself with the, all the emerging countries out there. Read books, download the PDFs on the Global Markets Advisor, join a trade delegation, or just go on a holiday or vacation to these new markets and to see, saturate yourself with everything you can about the, these new economic powerhouses and get your, betty, your business ready for international expansion. Have you developed a, a strategy up to this point? Have you thought about dipping your toe in the water? There's one way that you can besides what I've just mentioned, and that is to investigate your opportunity by attending one of the Global Markets Advisors Masterclass uh, Market Opportunity Searches. Basically, it's a half day or a day, depending on, on the size of the uh, group that's attending, etc., in your city, where I come, we sit down, and we analyze the markets and the opportunities that exist in the global arena. You can register your interest on our site, globalmarketsadvisor.com. Within the master classes, we enable you to answer some of the following questions. How do you get started? What should you research first? Which market is the best fit for you? What will you need? What are your options? And what skills and knowledge will you need to develop to become successful? We also cover more. I encourage you to register, think about the process, and come and join us one day soon. Thank you for attending Gold Markets Advisor.